particular segment of the program today, when we're issuing the challenges to humanity, is the most exciting for me. Because that's really what today has been all about. A challenge. A challenge. What can we each do? And that answer is different for everyone, but for me, the answer is very simple. I can refuse to use disposable disposable, one-use, single-use plastic. I can make the choice. See, that's what I'm an expert in. I'm not an expert in plastic. I'm not even an expert in pollution. I'm an expert in figuring out how citizens, and in particular, my area of focus is young people, can use their power and use their voice to make a difference. And today, that is the first challenge that we can all meet. We've heard so many examples and ways of doing it, whether it's making your own soap or, for me, a personal story. When I was little, when I got sick, the, the treat my mother gave me was a straw, a brightly colored straw. It's weird, but I loved it. I could not wait when she would bring in hot tea or ginger ale for my upset stomach for there to be a beautiful, bright pink straw. I'm a grown woman, and I still love beautiful, bright pink straws. That's my confession. But what I need to feel is not guilt, but conviction. That's something else we used to talk about in church. See, guilt is just feeling bad. Conviction is something inside of you that causes you to change your behavior. The challenge for me, no more pink straws. That's small. But there's so much more that each of us can do. Earlier on in the day, uh, Fabien Cousteau uh, repeated a quote from his grandfather that says, people protect what they love. Our challenge isn't just to protect the earth. It isn't just even to protect one another. It's to protect our power, protect the role that we each have as humans to make choices and to make change. And so today I encourage all of you, as I encourage myself, to refuse disposable plastic, to make these choices every day. That is the challenge for each of us and for all of humanity. Thank you.